Welcome to the Sacral Chakra Vinyasa Flow. I'm Jenna and I will be guiding you through this practice. The Sacral Chakra is an energy center just here underneath the belly button in the lower belly also encompasses the sexual organs and the associated element is water. So we'll find a lot of fluidity, we'll tune and tap into the flow, especially with the movement and the breath. We'll also work very deep into the hips and our, our peak pose today will be supported splits. Don't let the word scare you. That's why we're gonna make it supported. So try to have some props handy, either a couple of blocks. If you have a long yoga bolster, that will be great as well. We'll get started seated towards the back end of your mat. Place your blocks towards the top of your mat on either side so you have them handy. Let's have a cross-legged seat at the back end of the mat. If you need to elevate the hips, feel free to do so. Close the eyes. Can you soften the face, soften your shoulders? Feel yourself seated up tall, the crown of the head points straight up to the ceiling. The tailbone points straight down towards the earth. Tuck your chin in a little bit so you have a clear channel, a nice long spine for the energy, for the breath to flow. Let's take two clearing breaths to begin. Through your nose, take a deep breath in. Pause at the top, retain the breath. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Once more, big breath in. Pause, tuck the chin in, soften the shoulders down. Open the mouth and let it go. Seal the lips and start to deepen the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. And start to find that fluidity in the breath. Smooth inhales, smooth exhales, equalizing the inhales to the exhale so that they're the same length. If ujjayi breath is in your practice, feel free to start activating it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just deep, long breaths. So as the sacral chakra has to do with our vitality, the life force within us, the water element, there is no life without water. See if you can tap into this while you move and breathe throughout the practice. Allow yourself to get creative. Even if I say that you need to do a pose certain way, feel free to modify the experiment with yourself exploring your limits, exploring your edges. Take a moment to set your practice and intention. Maybe it is something connected to creativity, the flow. And take three more breaths with your intention. Next inhale, you can blink the eyes open. Simply switch the legs so that you have the other foot in front. It will feel a little bit awkward, maybe a little bit weird. So readjust the sitting bones rooted onto the floor. Inhale the arms high. Exhale, drop the left fingertips next to you on the floor. Inhale a little bit more length through the right side of the body. Exhale, fold over to the left side. You can stay on your hand. You can come onto the forearm. 
depends how much space you have at the right side of your body. Take a big breath in to the right lung. As you exhale, feel the right hip rooting down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale the arms high. Exhale, twist over to the right side. Take the right fingertips gently behind you. Left hand on your right knee. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale for length. Tuck your chin in. Exhale to twist. Just a gentle twist. We're still warming up, but really tuning into the center of the body. Also, with twists, we help the water and blood circulation in the body and in the organs. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, the right fingertips next to you. Take a big breath in. Find a little bit more length through the left side of the body. Exhale, fold over to the right. Big stretch through the left side of the body. Take it as deep as it feels okay for you. Inhale into the left lung. Exhale, feel the left hip rooting down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come back to center, both arms up. Exhale, twist over to the left side. Left hand just lightly behind you, right hand on your left knee. Roll the shoulders back, inhale for length, tuck your chin in. Exhale to deepen the twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come back to center, both arms up. Exhale, plant the hands out in front of you and come into tabletop. Bring the big toes to touch, knees as wide as the mat and sit back into child's pose. Let the upper body soften towards the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, tuck the chin in, round the spine, squeeze the belly in, roll forward as if you want to come into angry cat. Exhale, separate the feet, lower the hips, cobra. If this is too much too early, bend the elbows and come down a little bit lower. In any case, you want to have at least a little bend in the elbow so you can really pull the heart through. Press the floor away. If your lower back is feeling sensitive, separate the feet wider. Breathe in, exhale, tuck the chin in, back into child's pose, bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, way forward, big breath, big movement in the spine, exhale, cobra. Take a big breath in, maybe you lift the gaze if it feels okay for you. Exhale, child's pose, once more like this, inhale, way forward, exhale, cobra. Take a big breath in, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Make sure you really press the heels back. Inhale, lift the knees. Floating up dog. If this feels like too much for you right now, keep the knees low or drop them to the floor rather. Keep pressing the floor away. Breathe in. Exhale, pull the belly in. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Maybe side out, <sighs> feel free to find any movement here. It's a good time to check in how the body feels and how it feels to be upside down. It always gives us another perspective on how we're feeling today, how the body is feeling today. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, come up high up onto the toes, look in between the thumbs. Exhale, walk to the top of the mat. Take as many steps as you need to, really mindful steps. When you arrive at the top, inhale halfway, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale halfway, exhale, open the feet out, heels in, maybe you need to widen your stance a little bit, sit down, yogi squat. Bring the hands to heart, inhale, can you elevate your heart towards the thumbs? Maybe you need to lift your hips a little bit higher, press onto the heels. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Deep breath in. Steady breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath, inhale. 
exhale forward fold maybe you can find a little bit more space here like i said i want you to explore your edges with this practice so every time you repeat a pose see if you can take yourself a little bit deeper of course honoring the boundaries of your body inhale come halfway up one more time exhale fold deepen bend the knees inhale to roll up in three two one at the top exhale roll the shoulders back and down open the palms forward and deep breath in steady breath out inhale the arms high lengthen out exhale forward fold keep the heart open as you descend inhale halfway exhale step the left foot back gently lower the left knee untuck the left toes Maybe you need to bring your blocks a little bit closer. You'll need them in a moment. Inhale, come up, Kapiyasana. You can just place your hands onto the hips. We'll work with the legs and the hips in this shape. That's where the focus is. See if you can point your tailbone down a little bit more. Instead of popping your booty out, you point the tailbone down while squeezing the legs together. So we're not just hanging here. We're not fully collapsing. Pull the right heel back in space and the left knee forward. They don't move, but there's a lot of energy gathering into the middle. Soften the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Also gives a beautiful heart opening when you really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe in, breathe out. Maybe sink a little bit deeper, exploring the edges. Breathe in exhale half splits you might need to use your blocks set them as high as you need to walk the hands underneath the shoulders make sure your hips are on top of the back knee i'm just gonna set my blocks a little bit higher just check in with that right hamstring the back of the right leg is it feeling very stiff that's a sign for you to bend the right knee a bit more and put your blocks higher inhale halfway rise exhale fold we'll take deep, three deep breaths here can you work the right hip back and the left hip forward each inhale more length through the spine each exhale can you fold a bit deeper inhale come halfway up for the next uh, movements it's very helpful if your hands are a little bit higher you can totally do this without without any blocks with your hands or fingertips just on the floor but maybe first time around give it a go with the blocks press your hands firmly onto the blocks as if you want to push the floor away and round the spine you'll attempt to pick up the right heel inhale lift the right heel exhale set it down keep squeezing the belly in and round twice more inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower totally normal if the right thigh cramps up a little bit so bend the knee remove your blocks tuck the back toes under lift the back knee inhale three-legged dog right leg back and up exhale bend the knee open the hip should feel really nice on that right thigh right now breathe in breathe out inhale come up high up onto the left toes lift the left heel exhale right knee right elbow pause inhale can you lift the knee a little bit higher make some space for your step exhale step the right foot on the outside of the right hand high lizard you may need to wiggle that back foot a little bit more towards the back end of the mat to lengthen your stance if this is enough for you as is stay here if you'd like to take a deeper come onto the forearms soften your neck the legs are strong keep pressing back through the left heel so that the left thigh and the left kneecap lift breathe in breathe out if you are on the forearms plant the hands onto the floor upper body lifts lower the back knee untuck the back toes roll onto the outer edge of the right foot right hand on the inner right leg maybe this is where you stay if you'd like to add on reach for the left foot behind you with your right hand explore a little bit how it feels to shift the weight more to the right and more to the left and notice what your tendencies are here becoming curious and creative with the shape
One more breath in. Exhale, slowly release. Both hands on the inside of the right foot. Plug back into the right big toe. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. You might need to walk your hands further forward for more support. Inhale, step the left foot forward to the top of the mat and sit down, yogi squat. If you need, sit on a block. Bring the hands to heart. Inhale, can you elevate the spine? Lift the heart to the thumbs. Exhale, drop the right hand in front of the right toes, right arm on the inside of the right leg. Inhale, the left arm up. Your choice if you wanna look up or down. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart, take a big breath in. Exhale, left hand in front of the left toes, left arm on the inside of the left leg. Inhale, the right hand up, spread the heart space wide. Choose whether you wanna look up or down. Breathe in, exhale, hands to heart, take a big breath in, exhale, forward fold, strain the legs, heel toe the feet together, or rather hip width apart, heel toe the feet hip width apart and fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, hands reach above the head, exhale, cactus the arms, bend the elbows. Breathe in, pull the heart forward, maybe you add a little back bend, squeeze the glutes, Exhale, inhale the arms high, exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale step the right foot back, gently lower the right knee, untuck the right toes, inhale to rise, kapiyasana, hands on your hips, soften the shoulders, can you pull the shoulder blades together? Squeeze the legs together, pull the left heel back in space and the right knee forward. A lot of energy gathering into the middle. Squeeze the belly in and can you tuck your tailbone under a little bit more so that you get a really juicy sensation on the right hip flexor, front of the right thigh. A lot of the times when we think of splits, we always think of the hamstrings, but it's also about the back leg and there it really hits the hip flexor and the thigh. Breathe in, exhale, set up for half splits. This, this side, I'm gonna demonstrate it without the blocks. If you need them right now, grab them, place them underneath your hands. Make sure your hands are underneath the shoulders. Flex through the left toes, inhale halfway, exhale fold. Try to work the left hip back and the right hip forward. Inhale, halfway. Press the fingertips or the hands to the floor or onto your blocks around the spine. Inhale, pick up the left heel. Set it down, squeeze the belly and you need to really compress the left thigh to the belly. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Rebend the left knee, plant the hands, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg back and up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, come up high up onto the right toes. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, pause. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step the left foot on the outside of the left hand. High lizard. If you wanna stay high up on the hands, feel free to do so. Keep the legs strong. So really press the right heel back so that you can lift through that back thigh. If you want more, you can bring the forearms onto the floor. floor. Breathe in. If you were on the forearms, come back up. Lower the back knee down, Whew, nice break for the back leg. Untuck the back toes, roll onto the outer edge of the left foot, left hand on the inside of the left leg. If you'd like to take it deeper, catch the right foot with your left hand behind you. Idea here is that the hips keep sinking down. If it happens that the hips lift a lot while you're catching the foot, that's a sign for you to let go of the foot and stay in the previous variation. Feel free to find some movement. 
Breathe in. Exhale, release the foot. If you are holding it, ground the sole of the left foot back onto the floor, both hands on the inside of the left foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, walk your fingertips further forward. Inhale, step the right foot to the outside of the mat. Sit down, yogi squat. I'm just gonna turn towards you again. Maybe you notice a lot more space in the hips and the legs right now. Hands to heart, breathe in. Can you lift the sternum towards the thumbs? As you exhale, drop the right fingertips in front of the right toes. Inhale the left hand up. You can stay here if this is enough. If you'd like, half bind or full bind. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, left hand on the inside of the left leg or the left arm rather. Inhale, the right hand up. Exhale, half bind if you're choosing to go for that. Maybe full bind. And if full bind is not quite available for you yet, use straps. Just grab your clothing, whatever is available for you. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, forward fold. Heel, toe, defeat, hip width apart. And surrender down. Inhale to come up all the way up to standing. Hands reach above your head. Exhale, cactus the arms. Breathe in. Maybe you add a little back bend. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale. Inhale the arms high, lengthen out. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge through the hips. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward, think of a ocean wave. As you exhale, your choice of vinyasa, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, maybe sigh it out. Inhale the right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale back to three-legged dog, hips are square. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Take a big breath in. Can you compress the right thigh to your belly? Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Make sure the legs are steady. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Reach the fingertips to the sky. Exhale, can you soften a little bit deeper into the right knee? Slow down the breath. Breathe in. Exhale, open up warrior two. I'm just gonna turn to face you guys. Ground the back heel onto the floor. Lengthen your stance if you need to, especially if you're really tall. Make sure the shoulders are on top of the hips. Your hands are on equal height. Sit deep into that right knee. I know your legs are burning, especially that right one. Breathe in. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Can you open the hip more? Inhale, reverse the warrior. As you exhale, strain the right leg. Come into star, toes out, heels in, hands to the sky. Exhale, bend into the back knee, that's your left knee. Sit down, Skandasana. So maybe you come all the way down. Maybe you need to be a little bit higher up, but I want your left heel grounded. Breathe in. Exhale, switch to the front. You can try to go hands free or use the hands. Breathe in. Exhale, switch to the back. Make sure now that your right toes point straight up. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. Begin to ground the right foot onto the floor. Bend the knee. Maybe you need to use the hands for this trans transition. Right toes point forward. Ground the outer edge of the left foot onto the floor. Inhale, the left hand high. Maybe the right hand is on a block. Feel free to reach the left fingertips past the top of the mat. Can you sink a little bit deeper into that right knee? Hmm. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep the legs strong. Exhale, windmill the left hand to the top of the mat, pick up the back heel, inhale the right hand up. Breathe in, 
Exhale, fall and lunge. Turn all of your toes over to the right side. Sink the hips down. Maybe you need to slide that right foot back, but flex both of your feet. Inhale, lift the hips, reach the right hand forward. Exhale, lower the hips down twice more. Inhale, lift, really press onto the pinky toes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And this time, pyramid pose to the front. All of your toes point forward, back heel is lifted. If you need to use the block, feel free to do so. Inhale, halfway up, or the blocks rather. Exhale, fold. Two breaths, working deep into that right hamstring again. Think of deepening the breath with each exhale, not just chilling out here. That's how you build flexibility, you work in the shapes. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, re-bend the right knee, plant the hands. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg back and up. Exhale, walk your hands to the back of the mat, standing split. Kick the right leg high. Let's keep the hips square still. Exhale to fold, so it probably won't lift as high as you want it to. Inhale, kick. Exhale, right knee to nose, curl in. Inhale to rise, stork pose at the back of the mat. You're standing on your left leg. Exhale, figure four chair. Hook the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Deep bend in your left knee so you can sit your butt back. Inhale, can you lift the heart to the thumbs? Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back into stork. Right hand on your right hip, left hand reaches for the outer edge of the right foot. Inhale, see if you can elevate through the heart a little bit more. Exhale, can you strain the right leg? If this does not work out for you, left hand on the outside of the right knee. Bring the right fingertips back. Can you work that right hip forward? One more breath in. Exhale, unravel, compress the right thigh to your belly, inhale. Exhale, gracefully set the foot down. Give the body a little shake, a little wiggle. Hmm. You're doing great. <laughs> Find mountain pose again. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale the arms high. Maybe you see your hand palms touch. Exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of the mat, downward facing dog. Feel free to rinse it out with the vinyasa. I'm just gonna stay in down dog, four breaths. Steady the breath. Really pay attention to your pelvic bowl in down dog. So feel your tailbone lifting up. Maybe you need to bend your knees to do this. So instead of having, having the lower back rounded, can you point your tailbone up, squeeze the belly in, and squeeze the lower ribs in. Details, details, details. Inhale the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale back to three-legged dog, hips are square. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Inhale, compress the left thigh to your belly. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Steady the legs, inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper into that left knee. Slow down the breath, soften your shoulders. Can you find a little bit more length through the sides of your body? Inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two. Maybe you need to lengthen your stance, especially if you're tall. Have your shoulders on top of the hips so you're not leaning forward and your hands level. The backhand always tends to droop down a little bit. Breathe in. Breathe out, can you sink a little bit deeper into the left knee? Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, strain the left leg, come into star, you're facing the right side of your mat, open the feet, open the arms, breathe in. Exhale, skandasana, bend it to the back knee, this time it's the right knee. 
Go as low as it feels okay for you. It's a deep opening in the inner legs. Inhale. Exhale, switch to the front. Breathe in. Exhale, switch to the back. Make sure your left toes point forward. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Ground the left foot onto the floor. Angle the right toes slightly in. Left hand can be on the inside of the left leg. If that's too much, have a block underneath the left hand. You can shoot the right fingertips past the top of your mat. Sink a little bit deeper into that left knee. Notice if you're trying to get comfortable, <laughs> this is not supposed to be comfortable, so that you can understand what you're made of when you challenge yourself. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, windmill the right hand to the top of the mat, pick up the back heel, left hand up. Breathe in. Exhale, fall and lunge. Turn all of your toes over to the left. Maybe you need to slide the right, left foot a little bit more back. Press onto the outer edges of the feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And this time, pyramid pose to the front. Both legs straight, all of your toes point forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Working deep into the back of the left leg. Each exhale, can you fold a little deeper? Inhale, halfway. Rebend the left knee, plant the hands. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg back and up. Exhale, walk your hands to the back of the mat. Standing split, we'll work with the left hip still pointing to the floor, hips are square. Inhale, kick the left leg high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, kick. Exhale, left knee to nose, round, root onto the right foot. Inhale, slowly rise, stork pose. You're standing on your right leg. Let me just readjust the mic a little bit. Exhale, figure four chair. Hook the left ankle on top of the right thigh. Deep bend in your right knee so you can really sit your butt back. Inhale, back into stork. Left hand on your left hip. Reach for the outer edge of the left foot with your right hand. Inhale, see if you can strain the left leg. If this is too much, right hand on the outside of the left knee. If you feel stable, take the left hand back. Can you move the left hip forward in space? Inhale, come back to center. Compress the left thigh to your belly. Exhale, set the foot down. Give the legs a little shake. Hmm. Find mountain pose. Deep breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, the arms high, lengthen out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, walk your hands to the top of the mat. Downward facing dog. Option to rinse it out with the vinyasa. Or just breathe in down dog, inhale. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Working that tailbone up, squeeze the belly in. Use the pelvic muscles to really engage the Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. That allows you to lengthen the whole spine. Make yourself a little bit lighter here. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, back to three-legged dog, hips are square. Exhale, knee to nose and step the right foot through. Walk your fingertips a little bit further forward. Inhale for standing splits. This time you can open the hip, take it deeper, maybe walk the hands in line with the right toes, fold over the right leg. Inhale, kick. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, kick. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come halfway up, find an L shape with the legs. Inhale, the right hand up, twisted half moon. Maybe you need to put the left hand on a block, keep that left leg lifted as high as you can. 
deep sensations on the right outer hip, the hamstring. <laughs> One more breath in. Exhale, slow it down as you step the left foot way back. Right hand on the outside of the left thigh, lift the left hand up, exalted high lunge. Breathe in, exhale gently, set the left knee down. Can you take the hips a little bit deeper and exalted? Let the breath steady. Inhale. Exhale the left hand to the top of the mat. Inhale the right hand up. Maybe you stay here or maybe you catch the left foot behind you. Again, idea here is that the hips keep sinking down. So we get really deep into the left hip flexor, front of the left thigh. Your right toes point forward. Right knee to the same direction as the right toes. Breathe in. Breathe out, get a little bit lower. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Half splits. Inhale, halfway. I'm actually not gonna use the blocks. <laughs> Exhale, fold. Three breaths here. Use these to actively get deeper in half splits. So you can totally stay in half splits if that's enough sensation for you. Now we're gonna move into supported splits. What that means is that you'll need some, st some sort of props. First, re-bend the right knee. How I like to enter splits is that I just wiggle the front foot further forward rather than sliding myself into splits. I just find that this gives a different focus when we think of lowering the left thigh, the front of the left thigh, the left hip, hip flexor to the floor. So see if you can start to wiggle the right foot further forward. Maybe you use the blocks. If you feel like you have more space, you can start to strain the right leg. Take it slow, don't force anything, honor your own body, listen to your body. And now I want you to place as many props as you need to underneath the right thigh or the whole hip area so that you can feel supported. I want you to be able to just hang out here without your hands. Try to square the hips, flex the right toes, pull the right hip back, left hip forward. The fingertips can be on the floor just slightly, lightly rather. <laughs> Deep breath in, maybe sigh it out. Deep breath in, maybe sigh it out. If the floor is available for you and you can feel supported there, feel free to go deeper. Three more breaths. Can you slow down the breath, soften your jaw, soften your shoulders? One more breath in. Exhale, slowly begin to come out, plant the hands. So this is why we worked with the compression so that you can come out from here as gracefully as possible. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, move it a bit further forward, round the spine and see if you can pick up the right heel and pull it back. If it, it's okay if your mat, mat bunches up or messes up, but just to practice exiting gracefully. From here, bend the right knee, plant the hands on either side of the right foot, heel toe the right foot over to the left, pigeon. If you have a lot of space underneath the right hip, put a block there, but maybe you notice a whole new depth to your pigeon after the supported splits, hopefully. Take a big breath in, can you elevate through the heart space? Exhale to fold. I'd like for your forehead to be resting on something. It can be a block, it can be the floor. Notice where you're holding onto tension. Notice where you're breathing too. Can you guide the breath more into the belly? Two 
two more breaths. Begin to press the hands onto the floor. Inhale, lift the upper body up. Remove your props. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. This is gonna be a really juicy release. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg back and up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Set the right foot down. Option to rinse it out with the vinyasa or just breathe it out and feel into the body in down dog. Notice the right leg. Notice the left leg. Inhale the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Try to drop any expectations at this point. Inhale, back to three-legged dog, hips are square. Exhale, knee to nose, and step the left foot through. Walk the fingertips a little bit further forward. Inhale for standing split. Kick the right leg high, and this time you can open the hip. Maybe walk the fingertips in line with the left toes. Inhale to kick. Exhale to fold. Inhale to kick. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Square the hips again. L shape with the legs. Left hand rises. Twisted half moon. Keep the right leg lifted. Can you reach your left fingertips a little bit higher? Press the floor away with the standing foot. Juicy sensation on the outer left thigh, outer left hip. Breathe in. Exhale, slow it down. Step the right foot back. Exalted high lunge. Left hand on the outside of the right thigh, right hand up. Breathe in. Exhale, gently lower the back knee and see if you can sink the hips a little bit deeper in your exalted. Inhale. Exhale, right hand to the top of the mat. Inhale, the left hand up. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe you reach for the right foot with your left hand. Left toes point forward, left knee points forward. Can you keep sinking the hips down? Breathe in. Exhale, slowly release. Grab your blocks. Make sure they're handy, half splits. We'll just take three breaths, fold, get a little bit deeper. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, re-bend the left knee, low lunge. So again, I'm gonna work from here, wiggling the left foot forward, widening my stance so I can split the legs. <laughs> if you wanna stay in half splits, feel free to do so. Really, I want you to respect your body with these shapes, don't force anything. If you notice that your face starts to wrinkle up or you stop breathing, that's a sign for you to back out. So let's start wiggling the left foot forward. Stop wherever you need to. Maybe this is where you stay. If you feel like you have more space, you can strain the left leg. This is definitely the side I need to practice more on. Have something underneath the hips or the left buttock, the left thigh, so, so that you can just chill out here. <laughs> it's quite relaxed, isn't it? I find that supported splits is a whole new experience to splits. We can release all that tension that we gather up instead of, you know, relaxing into the hips when we're not supported here. The energy starts to really rise up and we get really tense in the shoulders. In this, we can really relax into it. We can trust that our hips and our hamstrings won't break if you didn't take it too far. Three more breaths. Try to keep the hips square to your best ability. Breathe in. 
exhale come out a little bit tuck the back toes under scoot the back knee forward press the floor away round the spine can you pick up the left heel and pull it back re-bend the left knee come into low lunge heel toe the left foot over to the right pigeon take your time to set it up maybe you notice you can get a little bit deeper into the hips hmm Deep breath in at the top, exhale, fold. Forehead is resting on something. Can you relax the forehead, soften the jaw? Shoulders away from the ears. Two more breaths. Start to plant the hands onto the floor. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Maybe you need to move it a little bit further forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg back and up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Step the left foot down, down dog or your last vinyasa. Reset, solidify the connection to the breath. Notice how you feel. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the knees, child's pose. Take a breath, come in contact with the ground again. Inhale, just roll up to seated so that you're seated on the heels. Sit on either side of your feet, bring the legs forward, seated forward fold, extend the legs forward. Maybe you'd like to remove the flesh out of the sitting bones. If you need to bend the knees, feel free to bend the knees. Inhale the arms high, exhale to fold. And I want you to let go of any idea of grabbing the toes because there's a lot more past the toes. So that's not the ultimate ideal. So if it's really not serving your body, reaching for the toes, the shoulders are coming up to the ears, the spine is rounding, come out a little bit. Work here, inhale for length, exhale to fold. One more breath in, exhale, fold. Tuck the chin in, inhale, roll up to seated. Head will come up last. Bend the knees, or sorry, rather bring the feet together. Point the toes, bring the hands way back behind you. Fingertips point forward, reverse plank. Inhale, lift the hips. Only if it feels okay for your neck, you can drop the head back. Not gonna do it because it's gonna mess up my mic. Can you lift the hips a little bit higher? Let the toes touch the floor. Inhale, exhale, set the hips down. Now bend the knees. Maybe you need to scoot yourself a little bit further forward. Come lay down on the back. If you'd like, you can hug the knees into the chest. Massage the lower back a little bit. Hug the right knee in, extend the left leg onto the mat. It might be a good idea to have a prop handy on the left hand side. We'll come into a twist. Open the right arm out, carry that right knee over to the left. You may need to shift your hips a little bit to the right to keep the twist nice and even. So you want the right leg landing on something. It can be the floor, it can be a block. Feel the space between your right armpit and your right hip expanding, really dropping that right hip down. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Inhale, come back to center, right knee to chest. Readjust the hips to the center. Hug the left knee in, release the right leg onto the floor. Make sure you have a prop handy on the right hand side this time. Open the left arm out. Maybe you need to shift the hips a little bit to the left. Carry that left knee over to the right, crossing the body. Maybe it touches the floor. Maybe it's supported on a block. Feel the space between your left shoulder and your left hip spacious, dropping the left hip down. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, hug the right knee back into chest. Gather it in, sorry, the left knee. And then you hug the right knee in as well. Plant the feet onto the floor. Make sure you have at least one block handy. Inhale, lift the hips and slide a block underneath your tailbone so that it supports the pelvis and the hips. Supported bridge. Options for the legs, heel toe the feet as wide as the mat, let the knees come together, broken bridge. Or the opposite, soles of the feet together, knees fall apart, sleeping butterfly. Or just extend the legs to the top corners of the mat. Like in Shavasana, you can have the arms next to the ears, full body opening. <sighs> Let yourself become heavy here. Take three more breaths. Slowly start to come out, arms alongside the body, bend the knees, plant the feet onto the floor, lift the hips, slide your block to the side, slowly lower the upper back, middle back, lower back, notice how they sink onto the floor. If you'd like, you can hug the knees into the chest or do broken bridge. Just check in with how your lower back and your spine is feeling. And now if there are still any shapes or any movements that you'd like to take, go ahead and take them. I'll give you a few more moments to do so. If you're feeling complete, extend the legs towards the top corners of the mat. Claim your space, Shavasana. If you're still moving, taking any other shapes, take two more breaths. Come into Shavasana if you aren't there already. We'll take Two more clearing breaths, close the eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose. Pause. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Once more, deep breath in. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Seal the lips. You can return to your own natural breath let it flow effortlessly. Notice how the body feels. Pay specific attention to the hip area, the legs. Notice if you feel a little bit, a little bit more free, if you've been able to activate that vitality that resides into, in the sacral area. Notice the belly move as you breathe. 
and remind yourself of your intention for the practice. Take a moment in gratitude. Thank yourself for showing up. And feel free to stay here for as long as it serves you. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.